Okay, so this video is to show you how to extract the USB drivers to your computer. So once you've downloaded the FTDI USB drivers uh, RAR file, you'll need some program to extract those files. If you have WinZip, that's okay. Um, but if you see no way to extract them, then you can download the program called 7-Zip. And I've downloaded for Windows here, but they've got other things uh, that you can download for other systems anyway. Um, then I'm just going to right click and find some way to extract the files. So that's here. And I'll just put in the downloads folder. Okay, so after I've extracted these drivers, I don't have to do anything else with them. Um, but I am going to open the device manager and I'm going to plug in my printer. So I make sure that the printer is powered on and everything and plug it into a USB port now. And now you'll see right here that USB is in uh, other devices. And it may take just a second. Um, I believe it will be automatically, uh, the drivers will be automatically uh, discovered and recognized. So now that it's been discovered, we can see that the printer is on COM3 under the ports in our device manager. And then when we open up uh, the program Matter Control, we can add a new printer here. And under the Make, we'll choose Other. Under the Model, this is a Cartesian kit, which is a Prusa i3 uh, based. Save and Continue. Um, Let's try and install the driver. Uh, click install. So now we disconnect the printer. Press continue. Connect the printer. And press connect. Okay. So even though it couldn't connect, we can do a manual configuration and select that it is on COM3 and then try and connect again. Okay, even though we can't connect here, um, we can edit what's called the baud rate. So um, what you want to do is set that at 115, 200. So there's two kind of standard rates that these printers can go by. Um, and this is sort of a connection frequency. Um, so this printer is actually the 115200. So if we save that, um, now we can connect to that printer. So we can close this and hit connect. And uh, we'll see the, the screen, the LCD screen on the printer flash. And also we see connected and we'll see live feeds of the uh, temperatures here. So after that we can start using the printer. Yeah. 